Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Fragmented here. So, what's going on? Well, here we are. We're going to explore this game a little bit further and you see what we can do here. So, the plan for today is to build a shelter here. So, let's go into our crafting menu here. I think we can build it. A wood shack here. We're going to build this bad boy. And then I also want to build. I also want to build a better axe or a pick. I want to build this calibrite pick because that will be very, very, very useful. And then we'll go from there. I do want to work on getting a gun because I do want to shoot. So I want this pistol. So we need some animal fat and some resin. So we'll have to do some harvesting of some of the wildlife here, the stuff that doesn't run away. Hopefully. Uh, they also kind of changed up uh, some stuff in the update. You can, I guess, supposedly demolish. I don't know. There's something you can do now where you can kind of pick the stuff up. But I'm not sure exactly how that works. I've also created some quality bandages when I made some bandages. I didn't realize that that was possible. But we do have to increase our skills here. Because, see, the, see right there, a small crate structure repair kit supply station and there's all this cool stuff like that keeps going on and then there's stuff in electronics battery flashlight so I almost need this to three and then melee I do want to bring this up to the calibrite axe and knife which is level four actually calibrite sword it should be five two three four, three oh is it cost to train six points. Oh, okay. Never mind then. So that so we did one point in melee. Shoot. So we need one more point. So we need to level up. <laughs> okay. That they, they changed that a little bit. What else do we need here? There's cloth garments. I think that is the chest piece here. So now if you look at that, um, I wish there was a way of organizing this. Right here, cloth garments. Yes, okay, we can craft this actually right away. Okay, cloth pouch, we do want to make that. We need more fiber, which we can collect that stuff. I'll show you what I do for fiber. Here we go, cloth garments. Perfect, so now we got our cloth suit. <laughs> let's go carry on over. Whee! Uh, let's go inventory. Let's change to our stone knife, which hopefully we'll be able to upgrade. So basically what I do is these purple plants here that you see, I harvest these for plant fiber because this is, gives you the highest chance of fiber. You also get the berries which are useful for eating. I thought I had berries on me already when I logged off, but they seem to have disappeared. Oh, okay, I went a little bit too far. I'm glad you can still harvest it. Perfect. See how much fiber we're receiving? Quite a bit. Just gonna run over here. Gonna eat this stuff. They supposedly also changed how quickly the food goes down, so that's another thing. I also kind of ran around and did a little bit of harvesting before hopping onto here. So yeah, so hopefully that pays off. Just kind of eating some berries. The water we can just eat. Well, eat <laughs> water we can drink from swimming. We just have to go underneath the water. Okay, so I'm just gonna harvest these plants up here. And once we're done that, then I will return to the base. And yeah, so I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, we are back here, back at the base. Perfect. It's raining now. Let's let's build ourselves some shelter here. So we have our wood shack. So hopefully this is permanent. Oh, they changed that. So how do we do this now? Ah, just double click. Okay. Supposedly we can hold the shift and... Oh, okay. Yeah, you can raise it. How about control? Ah, control allows you to rotate now. That's a cool feature. Good job, folks. Thank you, fragmented development team. So I'm just going to place it right here. Perfect. Now we got shelter. Is this permanent? Yeah, look, it's not moving last time I placed it, it was kind of movable, but now we got some shelter in here. It's not much, but we got, we have, whatever, whatever the proper terminology is. 
<laughs> uh, okay, so now what's next? How do we make a bed? Do we have enough to make a bed? Because we kind of need to make a bed. Because beds are spawn points. So I didn't realize that. We do need to make a campfire. So last time we made this, it disappeared. So I'm wondering if it will disappear now because of the base ground here. And I think I'm just going to put it inside here. There's a hole in the roof here. The smoke will just go straight up that. I, can, I keep on a hit tab for the inventory. And I think I might change that binding. So I'll be right back here. Okay, perfect. I rebound my keys. Uh, now I'm going to hit I because I'm used to hitting I in this game. But now it's tab. So let's hit tab, tab, tab. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, so now we got a couple skill points. I used them up because of this stuff. They also change this. We can't use a command in game anymore to change that. So that's kind of interesting. Let's go back to our crafting. So I want to upgrade our stuff. I don't want to make the stone axe if I don't have to. I might have to, but so calibrate the pick. We should just be able to make that. So if we go craft, bang. Okay, perfect. So that's yeah. I'm I'm hitting I now because I'm used to hitting I. Okay, so there you go. There's the calibrate prick. Prick. Ah. <laughs> Calibrite pick. Okay, perfect. So that's a new pick. Excellent. 250 uses. I think that's a little bit better. We got the campfire here. So we double click on items now to use them. Okay. So let's put it in the corner here. Let's see, we got the, the, the hole in the roof. So we'll put it right here. I wonder if it. Okay. Now, we know that we need some resin for the pistol so we'll need two resin so let's make a couple of resin here because you need the mortar and pestle which we have and a couple logs so craft one craft two okay i wish you could kind of specify how many you want to make because you might need to make more now this stuff will we will be using this stuff at some point i was kind of looking up you further up here and like at the forge for example you need more calibrate we need more animal fat we do have the other components that's so not too shabby we will be able to create that oh the wood gate that's a new item that they added so let's actually craft this to see what it looks like it's gonna use a lot of logs but that's okay sticks and fiber i'm, I'm kind of curious what that looks like we can make the cloth pouch now actually fiber and the rhyolite so that's awesome so let's do that let's make a cloth pouch now is this a cloth pouch to be used let's see do I place this so if I double click this ah okay there you go if I double click on it so it's this expands your inventory that's kind of cool actually so if I have items in here that I, I don't necessarily want to kind of have easily accessible. I can probably store it in that. So that's cool. That's cool. So let's see what this wood gate looks like. Okay. So, sorry. I had a little distraction there if you heard the dog in the background, which... Oh, okay. So this will cover this. I was, I was kind of wondering if there was something to cover this. So now we need to actually hit escape hit F on this, go demolish wood wall, let's see if we get anything back, I don't think we get anything back from demolishing, so that's interesting, okay cool, so let's place this wood gate then, sweet, okay, I want to place this on the platform, but in between this stuff here, come on, <laughs> I hope I don't have to rotate this thing, so if I go control, maybe I can, because I want to make, yeah. And are we facing, I hope this is straight. This is the problem, it should snap to something so that way you can have it straight. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. Maybe it should open to the inside, but I'd rather open to the outside, because in theory then it'd be harder to break down. So if you have a siege, it'd be easy to reinforce if the door's open to the outside versus the inside. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I don't mind that. And then the door should open. Oh, okay, I guess it doesn't matter. They open either way. So there we go. 
And then maybe we'll build a wall all the way around this. Okay, I'm digging this. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> we can build a wooden base to start with. We got the campfire in here. Hopefully this will last. Nice. Okay, so let's take a look at what we need to craft again. Yeah, this is kind of where you reside in a lot in the, in this game is you reside in this crafting screen. So I'm going to not actually cut this stuff out because I want you to watch and see what happens if that makes any sense because it's important. Uh, you know, if you want to buy this game, you want to know all that it does, right? So part of it is this. I saw reclining bed. But is that the only kind of bed that we have? It's a reclining bed. I need more rubber and computer. So no, definitely will not be able to make that. We got the tech shed, which needs cement. No idea how to make that. Steel wall, so you need cement and calibrite, which would mean a lot of harvesting. Stove for cooking, we need animal fat. So I guess that's the next thing on the the list is to, to go find some animal fat. I'm just going to quickly kind of scroll up here a bit more. We can make a torch for light. I'm not sure how good that is, so let's do that. Now we need more fiber. Fiber is... <laughs> harvest that as much as you can. You'll need that. So I guess I need to make stone stuff. So what do I need for that? Fiber. So I screwed myself. I screwed myself because now I don't have any fiber. Wonderful. So that makes it... I need water. I need water. So let's go down here. And I tell you what. I'm going to... You get my water up and I'll be back when I'm ready to go harvesting for some fiber. Okay, so here we are in the world. So what I'm going to have to do... Ha, see, I keep hitting I now because I'm back in that mode. So let's see here. Let's, can we throw this in here? Let's throw a number eight. Okay, we can. But see, look at that. It uses four slots. I don't know if I like that. Can we open this up? Let's drag this into here. Not sure what that's used for. What else can we drag away kind of... Um, I'm not sure because we collect all the stuff at the moment. So I will leave it just like this. Okay. I'm going to go barehanded because we need to collect a couple fiber. And then we'll just make a stone knife. I wanted to make a calibrite knife. Let's actually go back into our skills here. I wanted to make calibrite knife. So that was melee. Right there, the Calibrate Knife, so level 4, so I need 6 points, which we have, perfect, okay, nice, so what do we need to make the Calibrate Knife, because I don't want to make a stone knife, Calibrate, it should be at the very end, it always adds it to the end, I noticed, so when you add it, I wish you could reorganize this stuff, so Calibrate Axe, needs some more fiber, excellent, and we need some more fiber, okay, so that's what we're going to do, we're going to collect it this way, Hopefully we get some fiber. Come on. It's a different method when you use your... There we go. There's one, two. I think we need a bunch of fiber. So I will carry on here processing this stuff. I'm going to harvest this fiber. So that way we can create that those, those calibrate items. And we do have the campfire going. So we should be able to make them. See, this stuff respawns really quickly. I haven't logged out or nothing. I stayed logged in, so it just it's, it's alpha, right? So I think there's ways of changing the server settings as well, but I haven't really explored those options. Man, this game's fun. It kind of reminds me of Ark, just like a sci-fi Ark, right? Or just a different storyline. The game mechanics kind of feel very similar. The combat feels similar just because of the levels and stuff like that. So the combat still is very a rudimentary in this game it's not very complex let's check out our pickaxe here see how this 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 pick will will work nice look at this it's much faster now and it looks like we're picking up more resources per hit maybe let's see here just keep smashing on this thing yeah okay we're getting a lot of stuff man that's awesome we also need to make sure we continue collecting basic calibrite, right? Because that's how we can replace our calibrite, our calibrite pick. Okay, so we have that campfire, which is excellent. Okay, here we go. It's kind of 
sit by the campfire, get nice and toasty. Let's go into our crafting. Okay, calibrates. Right here we go. Calibrate knife. We want to create this. And if we have enough for the axe, we want to make that. But I need to check my inventory. Oh, you can hit tab on here. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That looks slick. That looks slick. So we'll move this stuff along the bottom. And so what this does is it creates room. So now we have this kind of middle area for all of our tools. So the torch, which is, I don't know, I don't know if that's really helpful. I wonder if we can put our weapons on our hotbar and then pick those really quickly. So let's actually give that a shot. If we do this, do that. Uh, what else can we do? Let's make sure we have the food. Okay, and then right click to get rid of it off the hotbar. So now if I hit, say the one, two, oh, like look at that, okay. So look at that, that's how we switch tools and weapons. Oh, that's exciting, exciting folks. Okay, now, what else do we need? We need pistols, so we need uh, some animal fat. I thought I made a couple resin, what happened to that? What happened to that? So I'm going to actually probably, I'm, I'm going to check my inventory here for the resin because I could have sworn that we made it unless I used it up used one resin for each of the limestone hammerstone quality mortar yeah okay looks like I used the resins up on the axe hmm. on the calibrate stuff let's take a quick peek at that no I don't see resin so why did I make the resin weird I thought I wanted to create two resins craft them again you need mortar and pestle? No, I, I do. Oh, you think it's not giving them to me? Um, let's see here. But this is mortar and pestle right here. Or do I have to equip the mortar and pestle? Do we have to do this? And then do we hit the five? So I'm, am, am I holding it? Oh! Oh! It's an object to place? Oh! I didn't realize it's an object. Look at that! I didn't know we had to place that. Huh. Okay, so now if I go into my crafting, go resin, it should now make it, I hope. Resin. Oh yes, look at that. Now we got two resin. Okay. So next step, we need, so we have Calibrate. Do we make the Calibrate Axe? I think we did. No, we didn't. So that's one thing we need to make is Calibrate Axe. Okay. So let's do that right away. Calibrate Axe. Bang. Oh man, we got the tools now, folks. Okay, let's get out of this. Let's, let's move all this stuff down Let's put the food there. With the mortar and pestle thing, we actually don't need it like that. Okay, perfect. So now we have our tools on our hot bar here. We can switch between them. It's 250 uses, 227. So it looks like every hit uses one it uses one use. So we'll have to pick up some more calibrate. We'll have to do some more mining of that stuff. We have a pouch, which is nice. And yeah, so I guess in the next episode, we're going to watch me go exploring and looking for that animal fat, because that's the next step. And I think I know where that is. We're going to head kind of in, in that direction. Uh, what direction is that? If we look at map, to the northeast, because I know there's some stuff that we can kill f for that. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Not much has happened, but we're trying to build onto this base and trying to explore this game. And, and yeah, and so I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.